Hello everyone, Crayon here and welcome or welcome back to Sneaky Crayon. Today's walkthrough is Force One Lake. It's an older book from Time Princess which follows Princess Signy as she tries to break the curse of the Swan Prince. This book has two companions, Aldous and Odwin, and we need both of their goodwills raised to level 6 to finish this book. But first, for those who are new to this channel, I share steps here on how I unlock levels, endings, and stage events in Time Princess books. So if this sounds like in your alley, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe button for more walkthroughs. With that out of the way, let's dive right in. Stage 1-1 has only one stage event, but the choices you make here will affect the future stages. Switching between its options also requires stamina. Now we are required to do a dress up in this stage, and here are the items I use to get a perfect score. Always remember to include a cat in your dress up. Here I used a 1 star level 4 grand charming cat, and for the relic, I always prefer using 5 star ones, so... Here I'm using Hu Xiao level 26. Stage 1-2 has only one stage event and one set of choices. Switching between these choices won't cost additional stamina, and also none of these choices affects future stages. For the stage dress up, here's the list of items I used to get a perfect score. For the relic, I used Caesar's race to level 40. Stage 1-3 has no choices, so we can focus on winning all possible rewards in the dress up here. For this stage, these are all the items I used to get a perfect score. Always remember to include a cat in your dress up to boost your score a little. Here I'm using a 4 star level 4 cooling gentle cat, and for the relic, I prefer using 5 star relics with at least one tag matching stage requirements, so here I'm using Light's Relic at level 1. Stage 1-4 has only one stage event and one set of choices. These choices are just for interest so whatever you choose here won't affect future stages. Now for the dress up, I get a perfect clear in this level using these items. For the relic, I used Caesar level 40. Stage 1-5 is a no dress up stage, but we have two stage events to unlock here. To get the first one, let's obtain the ending a lakeside dream. So to do this, just play stage 1-5 and select run away from the choices. To get the second stage event, let's unlock stage 1-6. And to do this, just replay 1-5 and this time select Bandage His Wounds. This option will also increase Aldo's goodwill and it will unlock the album art Moonlit Secret. To unlock stage 1-6, just select Bandage His Wound from stage 1-5. This stage requires all those goodwill raised to level 2 and we only have one stage event and one set of choices here. Switching between its options will require stamina so I would suggest selecting T's because it is the option that will be required in multiple stages later. 
it is also important to get a perfect score in the dress up here because we need the blueprint reward from this stage to craft the required item in the next stage. To boost your dress up score, make sure to always upgrade your fashion lab, maxing the dress first followed by the hair then the accessories. It also helps if you use items from the same book you're reading because they usually give better points. And lastly, I prefer using 5-star relics with at least one matching tag from the stage requirement. Here I'm using Light's Relic at level 1. Stage 1-7 requires Odwin's Goodwill raised to level 2. We also need to craft the Wisteria Capriccio dress. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in stage 1-6. We only have one stage event and one set of choices here. And although the choices here are just for interest and does not affect the future stages, switching between them will require stamina. For the dress up, these are all the items I use to get a perfect score. Cats also contribute some points to the dress up, so here I included a 4 star level 4 formal elegant cat, and for the relic, I used Gabriel level 20. Stage 1-8 is a no dress up stage, and it also does not have choices. So let's just enjoy reading the story to clear the level. Clearing this level will also unlock the album art in Discernible. Stage 1-9 requires Aldous's goodwill raised to level 3. This stage has two stage events to unlock, and to get the first one, let's just play 1-9 and select Worry About His Safety. This option will also increase Aldous's goodwill. To get the second stage event, just replay stage 1-9 and select He Will Be a Burden. Now for the dress up, it is important that we get a perfect score here because we will be needing its blueprint reward for crafting the required item in the next stage. I would suggest using Swan Lake items here if possible because items from the same book tends to give better points in the dress up. Also, don't forget to upgrade your fashion lab, max the dress first, then the hair and accessories. 5-star relics with at least one matching tag with a stage requirement also gives better points than a 4-star relic with both matching tags. So in this stage, I'm using Hu Xiao's relic raised to level 26. Stage 1-10 requires Odwin's goodwill raised to level 3. We also need to craft the mesmerizing winter dress. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in stage 1-9. This stage has two stage events to unlock and to get the first one, let's obtain the ending lost in the forest. So let's just play 1-10 and select left from the choices. To get the second stage event, let's unlock stage 111. And to do this, let's just replay 110 and this time select right. Now for the dress up, these are the items I use to get a perfect score. I also include a 4 star level 4 cooling gentle cat for additional points. For the relic, I use Davis level 36. To unlock stage 111, just select right from stage 110. 
This is a no-dress-up stage, but we have two stage events to unlock here. To get the first one, let's obtain the ending a costly choice. So just play 111 and select kill him from the choices. To get the second stage event, let's unlock stage 112. So let's just replay 111 and this time select let him leave. This option will increase Odwin's goodwill and this will also open a second set of choices. But they're just for interest so whatever you choose in the second set won't affect the future stages. Clearing this stage will also unlock the album art on the edge. To unlock stage 112, just select let him leave from stage 111. This stage requires Aldous Goodwill raised to level 4. We have only one stage event here and two sets of choices. The first set of choices requires stamina when switching between its options, and choosing Comfort Him will increase Aldous Goodwill and it will also open a second set of choices. Now to unlock Confess option in the second set of choices, first let's go back to stage 1-6 and select Tease. Then, go to stage 1-9 and select Worry About His Safety. And lastly, play stage 112 and select Comfort Him from the first set of choices. Then, choose Confess in the second set of choices. This option will increase Aldous' goodwill and it will also unlock Confess to Aldous' path in the flowchart. Now, here are the items I used to get a perfect score in this dress up. It is important to get a perfect score here because we're gonna need the blueprint reward to craft the required item in the next stage. So, always remember to upgrade your fashion lab and use 5 star relics with at least one tag matching the stage requirements. For this stage, I used Caesar's relic raised to level 40. Stage 113 requires Odwin's goodwill raised to level 4. We also need to grab the Blooming Dance Shoes. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in Stage 112. This stage is only one stage event to unlock and one set of choices. Switching between these choices will require stamina and choosing chat with him will increase Odwin's goodwill. For the dress up, here's the complete list of items I used to get a perfect score in this stage. For the relic, I used Gabriel level 20. Stage 114 requires Aldous Goodwill raised to level 5. We have two stage events to unlock here and to get the first one, let's obtain the ending Falling Kingdom. So just play stage 114 and select Hide in the Grass. To get the second stage event, let's unlock stage 115. So just replay stage 114 and this time select hide in the tree. Now for the dress up, it is important we get a perfect score here so that we can obtain the blueprint for the next stage required item. To boost your score, prefer using items from Swan Lake because items from the same book you're reading usually gives better points than items from other books. Don't forget to always upgrade your fashion lab and your time academy when you have the resources. And lastly, use 5 star relics that has at least one matching tag with the stage requirement. Here I'm using Light's relic at level 14. To 
unlock stage 115 just select hide in the tree from stage 114. This stage requires Odwin's goodwill raised to level 5. We also need to craft the melodious thoughts hat. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in stage 114. We have two stage events to unlock here and to get the first one let's obtain the ending trap for life. So just play stage 115 and select stop begging from the choices. To get the second stage event, we have to unlock stage 116. So to do this, just replay stage 115 and this time select continue begging. It is important to get a perfect score in this stage dress up because we need its blueprint reward to craft the required item in the next stage. In order to get bigger points, prefer using swan lake items in your dress up. Always upgrade your time academy and your fashion lab whenever you have the resources. And lastly, use 5 star relics that has at least one matching tag with the stage requirement. They always give better points than 4 star relics with both matching tags. For this stage, I'm using Gabriel's relic at level 20. To unlock stage 116, just select continue begging from stage 115. This stage is a no dress up stage, it only has one stage event and one set of choices. The choices you make here will affect future stages and to save stamina, I would suggest choosing sympathize with him because it is the choice that is required to unlock an ending in stage 117 later. This option will also increase Odwin's goodwill. Stage 117 requires Aldous and Odwin's goodwill raised to level 6. We also need to craft the Winter Beauty Ring. Its blueprint can be obtained by getting a perfect score in Stage 115. We have three endings in this stage and each one counts as one stage event. For our first stage event, let's obtain the ending at Queen's Duty because it is the easiest. So just play 117 and select Choose Neither from its second set of choices. This ending also unlocks the album art, The Queen's Coronation. For the second stage event, let's obtain the ending with Aldous, which is the fairy tale ending. So, first let's go back to stage 1-1 and select Accept Your Responsibility. Then let's go to stage 1-6 and select Tease. Now go to stage 1-7 and select Admit It. Then let's jump to stage 1-9 and select Worry About His Safety. Then let's play stage 1-12, select comfort him from the first set of choices, then select confess from the second set. And lastly, let's play stage 117 and select Aldous from its second set of choices. This ending will also unlock the album art, Fairy Tale Overture. For the third and final stage event, let's obtain Odwin's ending, Dream Life. So first, let's go back to stage 1-1 and select Refuse. Then let's go to stage 1-7 and select Deny It.
Then let's jump to stage 1-9 and select He Will Be a Burden. Now let's go to stage 113 and select chat with him. Then go to stage 116 and select sympathize with him. And now let's play stage 117 and select tell him you like it from this first set of choices. Then select Odwin from the second set. Getting this ending will also unlock the album art Forest of Freedom. Now here's all the items I used to get a perfect score in this stage dress up. For the relic, I used Davis level 36. And there you go lovelies, we have now unlocked all 17 stages for this book. We have also obtained all of its stage events. To get a 100% completion and claim the profile reward, just craft the remaining Swan Lake items that you haven't crafted yet. And that includes the items from Parvin's shop. You need a total of 30,080 diamonds if you want to buy all of Swan Lake items from Parvins. So that's gonna do it guys. If you find this video helpful, please consider tapping on the like and subscribe button. I hope you have fun with this book and I'll see you in the next one. Happy gaming!